Brand new updated Easter egg guides uploaded every single week here throughout 2022 for every zombies map throughout zombies history. Subscribe right now to keep up to date with every upload. All of these legends inside of the comment section from last week put transit. So here we are with transit's Easter egg guide today. Make sure you leave which map you would like the Easter egg for for next week inside of today's comment section. And also leave a like if you haven't done already. What is up everybody and welcome to the 2022 Easter egg guide for transit's Easter egg for both Maxis and Rick Toffin's side and also including the solo Easter egg strategy to get Rick Toffin's side done on your own without any BS. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. For both the Maxis and the Rick Toffin side of the transit Easter egg, you will need the nav card table built and you will need the power station built as well. So let's start out with the nav card table. Outside of the bus depot, the first part is a blue meteor that can be found inside of this gap in the wall. Once you've got each part of the nav table, you can go and place it down at the back of the cornfield at the back of the pylon. The next part you need is the wood. This can be found in two locations. The first location for the wood can be found inside of the tunnel between bus depot and diner. And the second location can be found inside of the power station on the level below tombstone soda. The next part that you're going to need is the electrical box. This can be found in two locations once again. The first location can be found inside of farm next to the fridge on the wall inside of the farmhouse. And the second location can be found inside of town next to the dumpsters near the mystery box location. And the final part that you will need for the nav card table is going to be the radio. This can be found once again in two locations. The first location is on top of the locker inside of the gas station in diner. And the second location can be found inside of Nagdor and Toten inside of the cornfields. Once again, after you found each part, build it at the back of the pylon. And as I mentioned before, you will need the power to be built for each of these Easter eggs. So to do this, all you need to do is make your way to the power station and there'll be three parts that you need to build onto the power switch. There is the electrical box itself, there is the handle, and there is also the hand. Each of these parts have four locations and they are all located inside of the power station. They're super easy to find. And like I said, they can only be found inside of this room. So now those are out of the way, let's jump in to the Easter eggs themselves. We're going to start out with the Maxis side. The Maxis Easter egg can be done with two players, three players, or four players inside of a game. You will all need to have turbines inside of your game, so do make sure that you build those. All the parts for the turbines can be found inside of the bus depot. They have the exact same locations for each game, and the buildable table is inside of the bus depot as well. The first part location is next to the payphones. The second part location can be found next to the bus timetable, and the third part location is the fan that can be located on the seat at the back of the room. And now you need to make sure that one player inside of your game has EMP grenades from the mystery box. Just hit the mystery box until one player has EMPs. Now you're going to make your way to that power station and make sure you have the power built. Turn on the power and then once the Avogadro is out and the power is turned on, turn the power off. You can now make your way to the back of the cornfield where the nav card table is and wait for the Avogadro to spawn in. The easiest way to do this is wait until the lightning is above your head inside of the field and then flip the round by killing the final zombie. Once the round change happens, the Avogadro should spawn in. If he doesn't, do it again. Make sure you've got two turbines placed down underneath the pylon. The easiest way to do this is get these to the back next to the nav card table. Wait for Maxis to do his quote, then get the Avogadro to go to the back of the pylon on the opposite side of where the turbines now are. Throw the EMP there so it kills the Avogadro, but it doesn't turn off the turbines. Maxis should now do another quote, and now you'll be able to have the other two players in a four-player game go and place their turbines down on the lights around the map. It could be on any of the lights that are around the map that once you place the turbines down, they turn green. Once both players have their turbines down and the two players still have their turbines at the actual pylon itself, the light should start shining off an orange orb and that means you've completed the Easter egg. If you're in a two-player game, you do not need to have any of the turbines down at the pylon for this step. And there you go, that's the Max's Easter egg done. Let's go and do the Rick Toffin one. For the Rick Toffin Easter egg, you will need to build the jet gun. The jet gun has four parts and three locations for each of the parts. Luckily, each part is located in the same area, so it's super easy to find. The first part that you can find is the actual body of the jet gun. This has three locations inside of the tunnel between bus depot and diner. Here are the following three locations. Get to the middle of the tunnel and you'll find one on the left-hand corner. You'll also find one on the raised part of land near the M16 war by, and you'll also find another one in between two cars. The second part that you will need for the jet gun is going to be the wires. The wires, once again, three locations all in the same area, and they will be found inside of the power station underneath the tombstone soda location. The first placement can be found directly under tombstone soda. The second can be found right over, right on the edge before you can fall down into the lava pit. And the third location can be found right at the back on top of a barrel. The next part that you need for the jet gun is the handle. All the locations for the handle can be found inside of Nactor and Toten at the back of the cornfield. The first being on the far left-hand side on top of these cabinets. The second being on the stairs. And the third being on the shelving unit on the right-hand side. And the final thing that you will need for the jet gun is going to be the gauges. These can all be found inside of the cabin between the power station and town. And the three locations for these, all 
all inside of that cabin next to the fireplace on the spring bed and next to the spring bed after picking up each of these parts do make sure you go and build them on the buildable table inside of town inside of the bar area and once you've got all four built you will be able to pick up the jet gun one player from your game will also have to have emps from the mystery box and one player will also have to have an explosive weapon the easiest and probably best weapon to do this with is the ray gun so get that from the mystery box then make your way to the back of the pylon area where the nav card table is and fire the jet gun until it explodes directly onto the nav card table this will allow you to hear a quote from rick Toffin if you are playing as samuel stulinger you now need to kill 25 zombies under the pylon with an explosive weapon it's always 25 zombies regardless of you being in a one player game or a four player game and these are collective kills it doesn't have to just be one player that does it but it must be with explosive weapons once you kill 25 zombies you can now head over to the green lights inside of the map you now need to turn off four of the green lights using emps so it becomes a lot easier depending on how many players are inside of your game four players inside of the game with four sets of emps can all just throw them down at the same time turning off four lights and finishing the step really easily this method can also be done with two player and of course one player as well the solo way of doing this all the previous steps are exactly the same but the easiest way to do this solo is make sure that you have emps make your way over to this light which you get to this by turning left immediately after leaving the cornfields after the last step then kill zombies until you get a max ammo really close to that light but do not pick up the max ammo make sure before the step you had a denizen open up every single one of the teleporters that are associated with every green light on the map then throw your emp in this exact spot then throw your second one down immediately onto the ground pick up the max ammo behind you and teleport throw your first emp of your max ammo emps down on the ground immediately then teleport again and do the exact same thing there's a lot of rng in this step depending on where it's going to send you via teleportation because obviously if it teleports you to one of the ones you've already emp'd it's not going to work but if you have luck on your side and it doesn't teleport you to one that you've already emp'd you will complete this easter egg solo and regardless you have finished the richtofen side of this easter egg and there you go that is the full easter egg guide for richtofen's and max's side of the easter egg for the transit easter egg on black ops 2 zombies but there you go thank you very much for watching make sure you leave a like on the video before you go make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching and goodbye